My name's Adam Parsons. I'm an architect and director of APG. We had the honour of designing this surf park in Bristol for the Wave. It's been a fantastic project and it's taken over nine years to develop from the grassroots seed of the idea through to the, the, the spaces and the place that we've created today. Uh, the core principles of the, of the project were based around the triple bottom line of sustainability. That's balancing the impact on people, on the planet, with an underlying profit which helps to balance the full equation. Without the profit, you cannot achieve the social or the environmental aspirations of, of the project. So the social aspirations are to create a, a place for all people, all abilities, all ages, all background, fully inclusive environment. The environmental views are to use a philosophy of reduce, reuse, recycle wherever possible. And that's been applied to the overall master plan, the layout of the building, the layout of the site, all the way through to the, to the granular detail of the building and the materials that have been chosen. The profit has to be understood, the business plan has to be understood and aligned alongside the brief of the project. The building is arranged in two halves. There's a wet side and a dry side. The wet side and dry side are connected by a central atrium, but we've taken all the circulation out of the building, so we're only building the, the minimum floor area that we need to achieve the function of supporting the lake with a cafe, bar, restaurant, and a changing and surf operations area. The form of the building is incredibly important. We've taken a form first approach that responds to the context. We've opened up all the views to the south to allow the south light into the building. We've carefully controlled the solar gain in the winter months, allowing the light in through an overhanging canopy with a viewing terrace on top, but shading the glazing in the summer to prevent from overheating. All the services are along the north elevation of the building, which is then wrapped in wood fibre insulation to ensure that it's really well thermally protected. The floor in the building is a polished concrete slab which acts as thermal mass to retain heat in the winter months. Being a single material reduces the amount of different forms of materials that go into the construction. Finally, the timber frame structure it creates the character of the building but it also reduces the amount of energy and CO2 that's gone into the construction. In fact, it's 55% less than a steel frame and concrete block construction that you'd often get in a leisure facility. It also enables us to expose the ceilings, which is further helped by a roof structure with a metal roof and uh, rock wall mineral wall installation within. The project was completed in October 2019. It was completed a week sooner than it was originally programmed for. Opening at this time has been a real benefit to testing how the whole site functions. It's still under its construction, but the lake is, is ready, the building's ready, and it's had thousands of people through the doors already.